Hi guys, it's Nazarene Cross and I'm just sorting out barbecue. I kindly got these sausages. Um, these are lamb. They're pre-made and they've got all the flavouring. I can't actually eat lamb because it doesn't agree with my stomach. So these are for the boys. This has been picked up as well. This is a kind of like a cheat. It's not too bad ingredient wise. Best way to um, check out the ingredients is the less ingredients you have, the better. And also you've got to be able to read them and understand what you're buying. Not sure if you can see that, what I've got on there, but yeah. So this is from Schwartz and it's Grill Mates. This is Mojito Lime Marinate Mix. So I'm just going to... Open it up like that. Okay, so first thing first, what we're going to do with the chicken drums is we're going to give them a quick wash and then we're going to remove some of the fat on there. You can see any bits of white fat. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do that. So let's just give it a quick rinse off, it is slimy. You can see all the fat on that. Doesn't matter if it's too wet because the actual grill mix does need water in it. So I'm just gonna start taking the fat off. Uh, as much as you can because you don't really need it in your body that stuff so just stick that over there it's a bit gross at the moment so if you're a bit squeamish about chicken and fat this is um chicken drums in a packet but normally i would buy from butchers but we haven't been eat we haven't eaten meat for about a year We've just gone back to eating meat. Um, I do eat chicken, but I don't eat a huge amount of it. I'm not really a, a fan of eating meat. And chicken, again, also doesn't agree with my stomach. I'm fine with it if I eat a little bit, but if I eat too much, um, it's not very good. So there's a little bit of fat there. That's gonna... A bit tricky with my nails being that long. There you go, just going to remove that off. Yep. Sharp knife is handy too. This isn't super sharp, but it's doing the job. So again, go through each chicken drum. That's a bit bone, that's not fat, that's bone. There's a bit of fat there. Not too bad actually this, I have, I have bought worse. Dean's just having a shower. They've just come back from their cycling outdoors. Uh, yeah, I've got it. Put it to the side. So go through each one. It's not too bad. That's got a bit there. It's got a bit of skin there as well. doesn't take too long to do this. Right, so once you are happy, oops, missed a bit there, with your chicken. Actually, maybe I should have taken the fat off before I washed it, but. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one on, it's a teeny wee bit. Right, so once you've got your chicken drums done, what you wanna do is pierce the meat, just with the, Sharp knife. I'll actually do it on the chopping board. Better view. So just you just want to poke through the skin, and this is to allow the flavours to go into the skin. Also reduces cooking time as well, because obviously you're not trying to cook a complete bit of meat. So little holes. Again, sharp knife would help. This one hasn't been sharpened yet. 
Do 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 do. Another one. Same thing again. As many holes as you can. Just be careful with your fingers. I, t I tend to hold the base, the bone bit of the drumstick just to be on the safe side. Little slits. Not enough for flavour to go in. Keep doing that. Both sides. It's nice and sunny outside at the moment, so hence we are going to be doing a barbecue with these. So, probably we'll do a spinach and cherry tomato, maybe some red uh, onions and maybe some cucumbers and some other bits. Do a little lettuce with this. Again, if you're trying to lose weight, it's best to eat more salad, less meat. That way, uh, you're getting a much more healthy ratio into that. So here we go, nearly done. Got one leg left. And there's a bit of fat there, so I'm just going to take that off. That is seriously, seriously gross. <laughs> yeah, it looks like snot. It looks like a bit of buggers. Right, so that is the last one done. Um, right, so what does it say on the back of the packet? I've actually removed a bit of the, ingre uh, the instructions, but anyway, one sachet. Uh, a little bit of oil. It says 50 mil. That's quite a lot of oil, so I would not recommend that. White rum, uh, white wine vinegar, and obviously chicken, beef, king prawns, whatever you want to use. I am going to cheat a little bit. So I'm just going to use this teeny weeny bit of oil and water, which is what I did last time. So the whole packet goes in. If you don't want it too chilly, you could actually half the amount, but this will probably do more than the legs that I've got here. I'm just going to add some water into that. So they said about 50 ml. Right. If you're putting oil in, that's probably how much oil they actually want you to put, maybe a bit more. So I'm cheating, I'm putting water in. I will put a little bit of oil in. So this is what I use. This is a an oil dispenser and it sprays the oil so you're not using too much. Um, Dean, could you pass me a napkin please? Just wipe my hand off. Thanks. That's cool. Let's wipe my hand off because it's got that juice to Had a good shower? Great. Nice and fresh from coming yep. from the side. Mm, yep. yep. I did my hair. I'm just going to put some oil into that. Probably about, you're looking at about a teaspoon, tablespoon oil, maybe a bit less. I'm going to just give that a quick mix. Um, basically what you're looking for is, you don't want it, don't want it too thick. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too too runny so that's about right if you can see that consistency consistency whoa big word there that's about right and you can also see the chili flakes in it as well so in goes the meat i'm gonna use my hands for this i'm gonna give it a good coat next one I've actually got the barbecue on I think yeah you can still see smoke from here um, I'll tell you more about the barbecue because it's a nice cute little barbecue not too expensive and easy to actually store so yeah so I'm coating chicken drums um, make sure you get it in those gaps that you made the little slits with uh, you want to get it on the bone as well, so you want to flavour it everywhere. As you can 
can see there's quite a lot of marinate there. You can see it on the bottom. Oh, from the bowl. That's when you want to grab it. Oh, got three more. Nicely into that. So, just move that out of the way. Again, all the flavours at the bottom, so just wipe it off. Last one. Just trying to find <laughs> marinate now, it's all on the bottom. Get that last drumstick. That's it, we've got it there. Give it a good swirl around. Make sure everything's coated. I'm going to stick this in the fridge while the barbecue is sorting itself out. Ideally, you want this to marinate for an hour if you want really good flavour in your meat and uh, roughly about an hour. If you want very, very strong flavour in your meat, overnight would be really great to do this. Be aware, if you do leave chicken overnight, for some reason you get water on the bottom, just drain the water and then do as you normally would do with um, a barbecue. Just going to wash my hands. So this is the barbecue we're using. It's a Tesco's outdoor small charcoal bucket um, barbecue. I think we paid five pounds or nine pounds, something along those lines. It wasn't expensive. We've used it twice, I think, before, haven't we? Not twice. Um, Where's the stick I had that I used for the barbecue? Yeah. Is it in there? Just need a little stick to move it around. It's quite small. Hi guys, I'm back and this is where we are with the barbecue. As you can see, the drumsticks have gone on and it's smelling quite nice. Uh, I've got two pieces left here. Um, they didn't make it because as it is, as you can see, it's a small bucket barbecue from Tesco's. And we used, uh, we used this coal. Again, it's from Tesco's. You get four one kilogram bags. It's instant light lump wood charcoal. Uh, that's what we used. Oops. Um, you do have to fan the barbecue because obviously it's quite small. The holes in it are small as well. Um, if any improvement needs to be made on the hair, then obviously I would say some more holes in the, in the bucket. But other than that, it's a nice little barbecue. Um, yeah, would fit in any small shed even in the house if you wanted to but yeah so this is what we've got as you can see the marinade has spread nicely and I'm just going to give them a little turnover they haven't been on here too long as you can see the color has just started to change on the chicken so this one's meat and that's slightly cooked using these tongs. These are really tricky to use. Should get some proper barbecue ones. Uh, let's turn this over here. Oops. The secret to making nice barbecue meat is to keep turning the meat over every few minutes, couple of minutes. Um, if you don't, you'll burn the meat, which is something you probably don't want to do. Do you want a little cuddle? Come and give mummy a cuddle. I haven't had a cuddle from you all day. You came, how did you enjoy your bike ride? Was it good? You said you did some stunts. 
Hi guys, we're back again and check it out. It's looking really good. I've just turned them over a couple of times. You can hear the barbecue sizzling. Yeah, look at that. Juicy, juicy. Um, I'll show you in a little while what they look like. See you then. Just starting to get barbecue ready? Yeah. You, you hungry? Oh yeah, starving. Of course I am. I had little birdie no lunch. No. Oh. Um, what we've got? We've got three plates for us. And oh look at that. That is so yummy. It's water with lemon and orange slices. And we've got these <coughs> cubes which we picked up from B&M. Um, basically uh. it's plastic with some kind of water in it or something you just freeze them so yeah that's what we're doing and we've got some salad there yeah this tastes nice yeah you love it don't you it's not super cool uh where are the cherry tomatoes from the garden some the round ones are the red ones are from the garden mm, yeah. no the round ones oh the mm. round ones and the mint the mint's from the garden as well mm -hmm. is it sweet <laughs> Mmm, that actually tastes really tomatoey. Uh, don't eat all of it, gotta save it for the food. That onion. Oh, should we have a look now? Look, the chicken. After one hour. Right, so how do you know this chicken is nearly done? Um, because the blood will um, be gone. Okay. And it will start separating. Yeah, the meat starts separating and it starts shrinking. Uh-huh. And this is because all the That one's mine. The juice has been taken out. That one's so mine. Give it a quick turn. This one's mine. That is mine. Uh, that makes this trucky. Oops. That makes this trucky too. It's sticking there a bit. Trucky. Turn these over. It's browning <laughs> nice. It's got a nice um trucky. what's it called? A glaze to it. I've actually moved them around the heat's mostly here in the middle. So. Mama, look at this truck. <laughs> you can hear them sizzling. Mama, look at this truck. Popping. It's a bit tricky to do. Let me come around the other side, that'd be easier. Let's turn this one over. Oops. <laughs> you see that separating? Yep. Oh, can I have that bit? Can you like take that bit apart? You that hungry, are you? You can take a part, please. Hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to concentrate here because this I don't, one. Sure. No, 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 no. Because that's stuck there. Wait, is Somebody's making weird whistling noises. Tell me when you when you play. Be careful. It's going to be really hot. Really? And then you can tell me what it tastes like. You can do a little taste for us. It's not cool. hot. That one still needs to be done. Very crispy. Mm hmm. Try it. Oh, hold on a sec. No, that's not mm. too hot. That's really nice. Yeah, not Hi, guys, we've just finished, and this is the end result. Uh, this is what I've got on my plate. So I've got two pieces of chicken, lots of salad, and some rice left over from last night. I've just put some more coals on because um, we're going to be making some sausages. Lamb. Um, Dean's tucking in, meeting. Mm -hmm. Good. That's actually lamb. Oh, okay, it's lamb. Yep. Um, mm. So yeah, I'm going to tuck in, and um, you can see the sausages a bit later on. Bye. So we're back again. Now we have what we got here, Munchie. Lamb um, sausages. Yep. I'm sorry for my chicken. It's steaming up quite nicely, smoking away. Yeah, but it's gonna go mm -hmm. Yep. There's a lot of fat coming off that. Can you see that? What are you doing? Let's still turn that around. 
I'm a windmill. I'm left over from my chicken. <laughs> and I'm a windmill, look what. You feel the smoke, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>